Hello nerds, today is Wednesday, April the 24th, that means it is time for the 114th game of Meditation Games. Today's game was made by John Cooney, and he's a large blurb for us which I'll read out for you now. Bicycles bring me incredible joy. The sights, smells, and world rushing by. Every romanticised sentiment that could be made about bicycles, to me, is real and special. I'm not a hardcore cyclist by any means, but I find my life is better when I carve out an hour to go for a ride. While I'm passionate and humbled I have a career in making video games, I also find game development wildly difficult, time-consuming, and stressful. But when I ride a bike, I find these challenges much more bearable. A bicycle creates a place I can clear my mind, get exercise, feel joy, and come home reset and ready for the new challenges ahead. I chase down my joy on a bicycle. While I selfishly hope you share some of my passion for bicycles, I more importantly hope you're taking time to chase down some joy for yourself. Heart, John. <laughs> I wish I cycled. Uh, for one, I live in tiny flats. It's a bit awkward to sort of keep your bike somewhere. But two, the last time I owned a bike, I ended up constantly having panic attacks every time I tried to ride it. That was a bit weird. <laughs> and incredibly unwelcome. I'm not impressed with that. Uh, I really should try and figure out what the hell was causing that and see if I can get around it. Because uh, I used to ride a bike all the time as a kid. I bloody loved it. So, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, one day, hopefully. Let's have a look at the game anyway, rather than talk about how unhealthy I am. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Okay. Uh, it's popping when black spots pass here. Oh, what did I do? do uh, Can't. Oh! Ah! Hello! Ah! Right, there we go. Space bar when the. Yeah, there we go. It's space bar when the black. Uh, well, sorry, when the, when the pedal passes the. This cone bit, I guess. Oh, I've just changed gear. Cool. Okay. All oh, right. I've got you. Bye. -o. And every time I successfully... Why was I stop? Whoa! Oh. Yeah, well, sorry. My space bar jammed. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh... Ah, mouse click works as well. I'll just do that. Yeah, if I stop, the counter comes back down. So, I've got to... Oh. Right, yeah, there's like a little bar that's going around the centre. Uh, how am I fucking up? <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. And we change gear. And once the bar finishes, a second bar uh, goes on the inside of the first bar. And once that's full, it changes gear. And obviously, the harder I'm pedaling, the faster my little heart goes. <laughs> oh, I broke the chain. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, a simple click and timing game. I'm cool with that. That was a fun time. I enjoyed that. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, the creator of today's game, John Cooney. I don't know if it's working for it or if it's his, if it's his studio uh, called Wonderful Elephant. Uh, <laughs> which is an amazing name. I adore it. I believe he's still working on the first game for it. Uh, it's written on his website that there's something coming out for later this year. So, I should all know when he does that. He's been in the industry for quite a number of years now. Uh, 2004 he started, so 15 years. Well done. He's made, uh, in his own words, over a hundred games. So, <laughs> that's a lot of games. He's worked for a few companies, but he did, uh, the one that stands out to me the most, because it's the one I recognise the most, is Armour Games, and I played quite a few of the games from Armour Games. I can't remember what they were called, so I have no idea if I actually played any of his games, but <laughs> I very likely did. But he primarily made small indie games during the Flash Renaissance, as it's called, which is the first time I've actually heard it called that, but I know the time period he's talking about. It's basically the mid to late 2000s. It was sort of before 
what I consider the indie boom, which was like with Fez and Braid and all that kind of stuff. Like, all the fun, creative and quirky stuff that was happening in video games was happening on Flash sites. Places like Newgrounds, Armor Games, uh, Congregate and... Uh, I can't remember the other ones, but but there's a fair few sites with all these uh, crazy Flash games, and it's where a lot of little side projects came about as well. And there's a lot of really cool game dev history that came from that era. I might actually do a video on that because that was quite a big part of my teenage years, and a lot of those creators really have gone on to make some damn awesome shit. And they really influenced the indie scene as we know it today. So no, I might have to do something on that. That'd be interesting. I wish there was some playable links on John's website to the games that he made. I'd love to have played some of those games again. I don't know if the sites are even still up. I don't know if that's plausible or possible, but if you're watching this, if you can put them up somewhere, please do. It would be great just to be able to go onto your website and find... Okay, yeah, it's over 100 games, so it may be too many, but even just your highlights, or if you can, all of them would be awesome, but it'd be great just to be able to just go through and play some of your games again. It'd be a good time. But yeah, I'll leave a link below to John's Twitter, and to the wonderful Elephant website. Looking forward to the update. Curious to see what this game that you're working on is. So, yeah. So, a huge thank you to John Cooney for making today's game, and thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.